Well, hollow everyone. Remember about a week and a half ago when I posted this Get Glow Nails video, I told you I would be doing glow nail art next? <laughs> yeah, well, my nail broke and we had a funeral. Sometimes tragedies just ruin everything. I also promised you a giveaway for us hitting 1 million holosexuals on YouTube, and that will actually be the next video, I promise. I really liked playing with these glowing nail polishes, so I made two different nail art looks for ya. Let's get started. For the first one, I'm applying a white nail polish as the base. And yes, my camera settings are still terrible because I'd optimize them for the glowing part, not the part with light in it. On my ring finger, I'm gonna paint on a hollow multi-chrome because why not? Next, I'm gonna add this black light activated glowing quick dry top coat to my white nails. And then just a regular quick dry top coat to my green hollow nail because we're gonna add nail vinyls next. Oh my God, it's been so long since I said that. Oh my God, nail vinyls glow? Wow, <laughs> I don't even want to use them. I just want to look at them under the light. So basically what I'm doing is using nail vinyls to create some negative space between glowing polish and not glowing polish. You can find nail vinyls at one of my favorite shops to get nail vinyls. I put a link below. They have over like 200 different designs. What? Like it's crazy. And before it dries, let's just quickly paint some hollow multi-chrome over that because I'm addicted. I can't stop with hollow. FYI, this lighting sucks for hollow though, so just Ignore that. Now this is the fun part of nail vinyls. You get to peel them off while the polish is still wet. Don't wait for it to dry or else it'll look like shit. Move your body like a cyclone. She can do it all night long. Whatever, That how that song went. Yeah, I'm old, okay? All right, turn the lights off. Yes, and the black light's on. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot to mention. That was a black light activated quick dry top coat. So right now I have one, two, three black lights glowing right now. Now on my ring finger, I'm gonna apply a mermaid nail vinyl and paint the glowing black light top coat on top of that. Wow, this is so cool to do under black lights. I'm never using real lighting again. Now you gotta work quickly because these quick dry top coats dry quick. Say that 10 times fast. Peel it off and bam, you're a mermaid that got poisoned in a radioactive spill. I think the coolest part about this black light activated top coat is that it's invisible. You can't see it under normal lighting. So with that logic, you could paint on secret messages that will only be revealed when you turn on the black light. I just figured out how you can cheat on your history test. You're welcome. There's no rule against black lights in exam rooms, right? Right? Right. I've seen a lot of polishes that glow under a black light, but I've never seen a glossy quick dry top coat that's clear that also glows under black light. I'm pretty sure this is the first time I've ever heard of one. I put the link down below for you guys because as per usual, I often use polishes that are hard to find and you can only get them online. Note to self, the black light top coat shows up best when painted over a regular white polish. That's why four of my nails appear brighter than the mermaid one. All right, let's do some more. This is so much fun. This time, let's cheat at water marbling because that's one of my favorite pastimes. And I'm gonna use one of my nail art mats. I put a link below for that too, so I can play around with some drag marble designs. Look, it's a water marble without water. <laughs> I actually already did a design exactly like that in another video, so let's try something different. Yay for trying new things, Christine. I'm gonna try this spiral design, which I remember first seeing on Instagram by an account called Lacvid. Pretty sure Sveta Sanders also did one. I love these drag marble designs so much, I started posting them all on my feature account. If you didn't know, I feature a lot of other nail art videos that aren't mine on my Instagram account, Simply Not Logical, cause some bitch took Simply Nail Logical. And if you make Instagram nail art videos, you can hashtag your stuff with Simply Not Logical and I might see it and post it. I just love sharing other people's work because it makes me happy when they can do things that I can't. <coughs> Water marbles. All right, so after a shitload of dragging and experimenting to try and get the exact design I wanted, I've got a beautiful array of options to use and not enough nails to put them on. Ooh, look, some of them even glow in the dark. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot to mention I was using a bunch of other glowing colored polishes. If you watched my intro to glow nails, then you could see all the polishes on their own. Once the polish is 100% completely dry, and I mean, it actually has to be dry or else this will fail, you're gonna gently use 
some kind of sharp flat tool to scrape it up from underneath and pull it up slowly. Don't break it, don't break it. Oh, it left a stain. Interesting. It's the stain of the unicorn babies. To adhere what is essentially a sticker or a decal or a decal, whatever pronunciation you prefer, to your nail, first you're gonna apply some clear nail polish or a quick dry top coat to make your nail wet and sticky. Use some kind of tool to push it all down on your nail. Then take a slightly sharp metal tool, preferably not a scalpel, we don't want murder here. And gently cut around the edges like Grey's Anatomy. If the edges look a little savage like this, don't worry, we're gonna fix that soon. Use some tiny Russian scissors if you like to cut off the excess around the sides. Do some more tailored trimming and then you're gonna take a cleanup brush, dip it in 100% acetone for it to work best. Don't load it up too much, you don't wanna flood your nail with it, but just enough so it helps melt the sides of the nail polish sticker. And now it's time to party, yeah, rave. Raving is so much fun, I have been to so so many of them, I socialize with so many people all the time. Uh, yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. How cool are my nails though? They are so cool, right? I think I like these better than the vinyl ones because they include so many different colors. And if I ever actually did go to a rave, people would ask where I got my nails done. <laughs> okay, I guess we should add a final glossy top coat just to seal it all in so it doesn't start peeling off. I'm just using a regular clear one so it doesn't affect the glowingness of the polishes underneath. I guess it's not completely necessary, but it does give a nice glossy shine and regular lighting and it helps seal everything in so it doesn't chip. These colors are kind of barfy in normal lighting though. I don't really like it. Guess it looks like I'm gonna have to carry my black light around. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed these two different nail art looks using glowing polishes. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for the big massive hollow giveaway in the next video coming up. And I'll see y'all later, bye.